Hi everyone, welcome to the VBR 1 pass versus VBR 2 pass battle. Sorry CBR, you're not included. All right, ding ding, let's get started. Okay, first thing is probably most of the time VBR 1 is exactly what you need. Okay, we talked about the, the target bit rate. When Premiere Pro is processing it, it's gonna try and be this megabytes per second, this kind of quality, 10. It's a target, it's not gonna do that for every single frame. Okay, that's what this is, constant bit rate. It will force it to be 10 all the way along, whereas VBR, Okay, a variable bit rate, it's gonna be around 10. It's gonna try and hit that target. And that works great most of the time. Where it doesn't work sometimes is for a couple of reasons. Uh, and you need the second pass. Okay, so it does the first pass, here's my target again. But then you say, once you've finished Premiere Pro, have another go at it and see if you can identify any areas that need a little bit of extra. Okay, how much extra? Up to you. Okay, but 12 in this case is great. So most of it's 10, if you need to go up to 12. And when will it need to? It'll need to in like high action shots or when you've got a big change of contrast or color or exposure, anything kind of like moving fast is a good idea for a second pass. Where I find it really good as well is when you're trying to get something really, really small, like you need it to be teeny tiny, like for this course, all the files that you get as part of the exercise files, I've had to go into here and set up the variable pass. So I'll go in down here and say it has to be four, but six, okay? Why? Because I want it to be low, but if it needs to, it needs to go up. Because otherwise some of those files can come out really bad and I'll show you one before we go. So that's the difference. Let's have a little look. I'm gonna export both of these. I'm gonna go back to my 10 and 12. I'll export both of these in a sec, wait there. Okay, the second one's going out as VBR2. And you can see here, it's gonna do its first pass. Basically, it goes through and does the normal kind of VBR1 pass, and it makes uh, notes on which part of the footage, after it's kind of processed it, they could go back and use a little bit more quality. And it will go back and do it a second time and readjust those ones. How many? It depends on your footage. This one, because there's not much going on, I doubt it's gonna actually go up to 12 at any stage. So you can, you're kind of giving it the option. If you've got lots of action, it might be at 12, you know, the whole time. You might end up with a really big file. Let's have a look. We've got VBR1 and 2. They've ended up being basically the same size. This one's a little bit smaller, okay, because it was able to process it a second time. So why would I use variable bitrate 2? Why don't I just use it all the time? Uh, the reason is it takes forever to render. Now, my one took, you know, I don't know. I'm guessing 60% longer additional render time on this really short one. If you're rendering out a documentary, uh, you're like, I have to render out hundreds of videos for this uh, course, it is going to take days longer and that is no fun. So variable bit rate two pass, you've got to be really, I don't know, conscious of what you're doing. Short stuff, sure, make it variable bit rate two. You're probably not gonna notice any difference in something like this, but if you're doing action shots or I found trouble with, I couldn't find any files, um, of it, but I've had trouble in the past where I've had gradients, like big kind of like gradient, color gradients on it, and it just didn't render quite well. It was banding and stuff. Variable bit rate fixed that up nicely. I gave it when it needed to a bit more quality. I'm gonna show you something that I was working on for my YouTube channel. So I exported this little bit for you guys, remember? You might've seen it throughout the course. Okay, I exported this little chunk and I need to get it really small. And I'm gonna show you exporting. So I've set my in and out points. I'm gonna export it. I've got some offline graphics in there, not in the bit that I'm exporting though. So I'm gonna do two for you, one with variable bit rate, one pass and two pass, and we'll compare the two. And I'm gonna go low, I wanna get this really small. So on pass one, I'm down at three. Let's have a look at what three does. Okay, time taking, eh, not long. I'll time it for you, because you can't trust that, you know longest one second of your life <laughs> okay but that took a minute okay so not long at all and it's only a small little section it's only a few seconds let's export it again same thing the variable bit rate two pass and i'm going to go try and be three unless you need it go up to six let's export it actually let's name it all right pass one look already doesn't even give you an estimated number. All right, well, I'm gonna speed this up. You can watch the clock up there. Go.
Okay, so it was just under two minutes. So it basically not quite took twice as long for this short little bit. It feels painfully slow when you, after doing a variable bit right one. So let's look at what we actually ended up with. So I've got these two files, uh, bit right one and two. I'm gonna open them up and put them side by side. It's gonna be hard for you to do this because you're gonna be watching on a video yourself. Watching videos on the video is a little bit tough. Hopefully you can start to see the contrast between these two. Can you see this one? All this like, there's a lot of information, even though it's one color on my desk here, there's a lot of kind of information needed to separate all the variants. So let's have a look at this one. Can you see this one? <laughs> oh. Okay, <laughs> better wing, I think better okay. wing. <laughs> okay, uh, bits of it are good. Can you see this one here? This is the low quality one. So it gets into here and it's actually really nice. But way back here, can you see? Way too low. Whereas it, all the way through here, it's kept a consistent, nice quality and it's the same file size. So this is a kind of an edge use case when I'm making files really small for you, for the exercise file so that it doesn't kill everybody's downloadable broadband limits. It's also really useful for when you are doing uh, high action shots, lots of contrast changes, lots of action going on. And in my case, lots of gradients, even if it's just non, you know, digital stuff that you've made, you'll find that the lower the variable bit rate will end up with this kind of murkiness and banding and striping and oh, it's gross. So use variable bit rate one most of the time because variable bit rate two is only needed for some instances and it takes a really, really long time to render. There you go. That's my two cents on the verbal bit rates. Let's jump into the next video.